Hello everyone, welcome to Supercode and today we're going to be teaching you how to make a text QR code. So for a plain text, click here in your dashboard and next. We'll use these codes for anything like Wi-Fi passwords, uh, maybe product ID numbers, anything that is a static code that will just show up on your phone and doesn't need to be routed to an internet browser. So here we can say Wi-Fi password super code is great. And we'll just name the code Wi-Fi password. and put this in an existing or new folder. Now to design the code, just use the design tool for customizable colors. Make sure they contrast so they scan well. We can use the basic option for edges to make all three edges the same, or use the advanced option to make three different edges. So let's do that. So in the top left, we can use this shape, the top right, this shape, and the bottom left, this shape. And maybe for the outer, Choose this nice blue. And still, you can choose any color you want. I'll leave the inner black. We'll move on to the frame toggle. So we'll say Wi Fi password. So our audience knows why they are scanning. Change the size. And choose a frame that you like or you can leave it blank and then label Wi-Fi password on what you printed on you can change the frame color let's do green in the logo you could upload where it has a plus sign or you can add an emoji. Go ahead and save it. And once you click save, you can't modify the content because it is a static code. You can always go back and modify the design later. So when you download your code, you have three different options. And make sure you scan it to make sure that it routes to where you want it, or as this doesn't route, it'll just pop up the information straight on your cell phone. So if you need any more help with tips and tricks, check out our 50 do's and don'ts, downloadable on our homepage at superco.com, and make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more tutorials about how to make the perfect QR code. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section, and we'll do our best to get to each one. We'll see you in the next tutorial.